let's talk about life. Let's talk Tell about me. love. <laughs> let's talk about life. Let's talk about love. <laughs> let's talk about life. Let's talk about love. Yes. Are you a rapper of any sort? I am not, but I love music. And, uh, I can definitely pull out a freestyle when there's a good beat on. Ooh, yeah. I love that so much. Yeah. Me too. Been getting into like con like a consciousness type of rap. Ooh, I love that. Talk about spiritual things. like. Share that with me sometime. Oh, definitely. I would love to hear that from you. I love it. Yeah, it's a great way to express yourself and talk about the things that are important in life. Make make rap music that is uh, beneficial to the soul, to the consciousness. And um, yeah, just teach different things. Actually, you know, through music. It's a great thing. That's true. I just made a new rap song. Nice. Like yesterday. Nice. And I figured I should just save that, not share it anywhere. Keep it to myself, and then maybe when I hear a nice beat, I'll like say it. Yeah, that's awesome. I think it's nice to kind of keep secrets once in a while. Yeah, because I'm like all about sharing all the time. Yes, yeah, and, uh, it's good to share with people your experiences and share like all the things that you know are within your heart and consciousness, it helps us all grow. And, I think we're all looking for that that hidden love like within us you know to to make us feel whole and uh, we search for it in all different kinds of places you know with people experiences and events uh, money uh, family whatever it is but at the end of the day like when it's when it's gone like we feel like empty inside have you learned how to not be empty? Yeah. Like ever? Yeah. How? What's the secret to feeling full? The secret, so for me, it's like I break it down into like three different concepts. The first one is um, rewiring your subconscious brain to put new emotions into you. There are elevated emotions which are very powerful on the energetic scale and those are uh, peace love joy gratitude bliss um, and when you feel those emotions in your body and you imagine them you use emotional imagination you imagine yourself in that state it starts to rewire your subconscious to allow you to feel love again and to heal from trauma that you have because our subconscious will be on like an auto loop program and we try to escape it and it keeps bringing us back into this cycle of pain and if we think about things and keep think saying those things that are negative yes yes and uh, so we rewire by changing that up and giving ourselves what we want if we want love we need to think love say love yes well you're so your subconscious can't tell the difference between imagination on like basically it doesn't know if it can't tell the difference between a real life experience and what you imagine so when you imagine and you feel the emotions like in your body and you feel the gratitude and the excitement as if you had all of this love like you're giving it to yourself but with a you know an emotional imagination you can imagine yourself in a state where you've been like that um, there's been times and sometimes we just we have to imagine these things with, without limitations, without uh, feeling like we're unworthy of it. We just, we imagine it and we feel it. It's kind of like imagining yourself being anything you want in life and you just think of it with like gratitude and joy and appreciation and basically anything you want in life, it like appears because you're thinking about it. Yes, yes, but thoughts alone do not hold much power. It's when you combine focus thought with emotions powerful emotions that's when you emotions. use that's when you employ how can uh, you law. change someone's emotions how can someone change their emotion when they're feeling the emotion of depression but they want to be joyful yeah so 
what I do is I listen to theta meditation music that allows you to access your subconscious mind. Did you mind. say theta or theta? Theta. Theta. So theta. So T H E T A. Yep. Theta. Yes. Meditation. Yes, and you you can find them anywhere. I can, Beautiful. I can recommend some, but that'll allow you to access your subconscious, and then you can use your imagination and start to imagination yes. imagination exactly imagination imagination whatever makes you have feel you heard good. of tab time no i haven't on google or mm -hmm. youtube tab time omg that girl man she's full of joy yeah she made a song called imagination for her cartoon that's amazing yes so imagination. we got to tap into all these things the imagination is actually what creates creates everything around us so we can imagine that we are tormented we can imagine that we are nothing we can imagine that we're worthless we can imagine yes. that we're pathetic we can imagine that we're poor we can victims. imagine that we're victims we can imagine that we're suffering forever we can imagine that there's no solution to our problem but when we start imagining skies sunshine mm -hmm. friends rainbows warmth good food feeling good feeling healthy peaceful happy yeah. Rich. Does yes. it happen? When we start feeling, making that imagination in our minds, does yes. it happen? Everything everything in your world is a reflection of you. So when your internal world becomes that, everything else ha around you has to transform into that. It and magically transforms, doesn't it? Yes. And it's, like, it's literally like magic, isn't it? It is. You'll see like people fall out of your life and crazy things happen. And like basically what will happen is everything has to transform to that frequency that you're putting it on because it's so powerful. It'll be like a metamorphosis. Yes. And so everything around you has to change to that. And it has to, it has to uh, basically, it has to uh, respond to your order. Yes. Yeah, so your command, because you're an authority, right? You're an authority figure. You were created to create. When you tap into your unique frequency and your creative energy and you emit those powerful uh, emotions of love, everything around you transforms or it, or if it doesn't, it can't exist in your life anymore. Because you start getting your, ideas, your you start getting answers high. to all these things that you need in your life. Like you might start feeling, well, you know, I'm a really nice guy and uh, um, I'm really happy and I'm, uh, I got nice teeth. And then suddenly you're like, fuck, I need to go buy some fucking toothpaste. <laughs> I need to smile. It's I all gotta connected. be nice. You start literally connecting all the puzzle pieces together, yeah. don't you? You're taking aligned action with that energy. So you're following that energy. So I talked to um, an amazing person mm. last night and they talked about following your, your bliss, your love and your bliss. Mm -hmm. Like you might not know where you're going in life, or how to change your reality. But, but follow when you, your bliss. When you follow that and the things that resonate with it, mm -hmm. it takes you to your spiritual destiny naturally. This is my bliss. Can I show you guys my bliss? <laughs> this is my bliss right here. Bliss. This is my bliss right here. Being with this man right here. Number seven. Woohoo! <laughs> Wow, look wow, at that bliss. That's so beautiful. Look at that bliss. It's almost magical. Exactly. Look at the cloud. Bliss. This is my bliss right here. So I walked to my bliss. Walked to this bliss. Look at that.